Remember the borders, the first outlines of the borders we have now appeared in 1884, 85. By 1914, most of them have, uh, the Germans were here, Spanish were in Equatorial Guinea, uh. Portuguese were here, French had taken their chunk, you know, South Africa, after the First World War, joined this club. But basically, after the First World War, the, the, the borders were changed slightly. The, the old uh, German imperial holdings were chopped up and divided between Britain and France. You know, with Togo going between French Togoland and British Togoland, and, and, and Namibia becomes this Southwest Africa becoming part of South Africa, sort of colonial relationship with South Africa. Uh, Tanganyika was passed on to Britain. Uh, Rwanda, Burundi handed over to Belgians. You, you see? Uh, and then on the eve of this, of the 60s, beginning of the 60s, France divided between 58 and 62, 63, 63, divided the whole of French colonial Africa, or the imperial Africa, into 12 countries overnight. All at their convenience, not with consultation or anything. So for us Africans to treat these colonially bequeathed uh, countries as if they are written in stone is completely wrong. It's completely wrong. And for us, not to realize that in fact they were created not for our purposes. They were, look, over 40% of the population of the Ivory Coast is Akan speaking. It's about the same proportion as Ghana. How many Ghanaians know that? How many Ghanaians know that? They, of course, there are, uh, there are even the uh, Enzimas uh, as uh, well. Uh, 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 the ever speaking peoples uh, start in Ghana ethnolinguistically, culturally, ethnolinguistically and culturally, that is. They start from Adangbe, all the Be speaking peoples. Adangbe, it goes into Ewe, then it goes to Mina. Eh? And Mina in Togo, Ewe in Togo, and then in in in, in Benin, you have four, four. Uh, four. They speak four pair. Right. You have Aja, and then you have Gon, then you have Mina, and then you have Aja again in yeah, Badagri in Nigeria. They are all ethnologically closely related peoples and languages. They have a history which goes far beyond the, the remotest dreams of French people and British to come into Africa and divide us up. If we do not treat these histories, these so-called pre-colonial histories, as our history, and 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 rehabilitate ourselves into that history. We are not going to make progress, and the, the problem in Africa. We are not going to. We 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 are lost people. People who who identify themselves with names imposed on them by others, who think that they just started their existence at the end of the nineteenth century. No, that's that's not correct. Right. So we have big problems. Your generation and the generation after that will have to deal with this. 
if we want to move forward, if we want Africa to move forward, we would have to go to Nkrumah to unite Africa, to unite the African people, you know, unite the African people. And That's we'll... the only, and if we were united today, we would be a world power.